Use an interplot settings file with the ICS for PDF. Let's say if you have an existing settings file, it basically turns your output from color to black and white. So I have an existing settings file, which, if we take a look at it, we edit that section, you'll see that all it does is uh, apply the bw.ctb color table to that settings file. And I've already stored that in the ProjectWise in this location. First thing we would do, have to go to ProjectWise Administrator for ICS to set up ICS for PDF. We need to make sure that all the components already exist and then create our profiles that are associated with these components. Uh, for the settings file to work properly, we need to create a source file presentation settings, which I have here. If you do a right click on this uh, particular entry, you'll see all it does is browse to the settings file that I have currently existing in ProjectWise just to show you what it looks like. You would also create your formats. Um, ICS for PDF offers the ability to create CALs, JPEGs, PDFs, and TIFFs as well. So I've already created my components, my formats uh, for uh, my PDF, which is what I'll use. Uh, the naming conventions is basically just a name format that you want to use when the PDFs or when the renditions are created. In the output folder, you're, designated where you want, you're designating where you want the renditions to reside once you create those. So we've got our components. Uh, I've created a couple of profiles that are, so, that are associated with those components. Um, my settings file is in ProjectWise. And now if I go to uh, ICS for PDF, we should see um, the ability to create a job, bring a file into ICS for PDF, and attach that settings file. So if I do a right click uh, on the job definitions, I will log into my data source, click OK, I will choose a any given file, and let's use learn.dgn, we'll click OK to bring to say that's the file that I want to uh, create a job uh, for ICS for PDF. Uh, the next step will be to click the renditions tab. This allows me to choose which format. Remember what we said that ICS for PDF allows for CALs, JPEG, TIFFs, and PDFs. I'll just cho choose my uh, profile component of PDF. And this is where your settings file comes into place. If you'll notice by default, if you click on the Add Presentation Profile Component, it gives you a choice for the components that you've already created in ProjectWise Administrator. The BW set is the one that I created. Uh, in ProjectWise Administrator, it has the black and white color table associated with it. And you notice a red box appears uh, to the left of the BW set name. That indicates that I'm going to use this particular settings file. It is active. If that box was not checked, in other words, if it was clear like this, you could submit your job, but it would not uh, associate that settings file with piece, uh, ICS, for, ICS for PDF. So make sure that that box is checked by simply checking this box. You notice when I first chose it, it was automatically selected. So you don't really have to do anything. But if you want to turn it off, you check the box. If you want to turn it back on, check the box again. Uh, the final step is just to choose your addition outputs, which allow, uh, I'm sorry, your distribution settings value, which allows you to choose your file name component, which I chose for base name. And here you want to choose the Add Distribution Definition tab or icon that allows you to choose your output uh, profile. And I only had one called it uh, output, so let's say OK to that, and you'll see this is where that resides. You, can, uh, you have the option at this point to send an email uh, upon the completion, but if I click OK here, the last thing it should give me is an option to name my job. And once I s create the job successfully, I can start it as a full mode. It will tell me it's going to be executed. When it turns green, that means it's starting. I can double click on it to get the monitor going. And if I look in my output folder, I currently don't, <coughs> don't have any jobs or any renditions that have been created. So let's take a look at and see how the processing is going. It gives you an overall status of how far things are coming along. You click on the uh, details tab. It shows you that the rendition is complete. And if I look over here in the output folder, do a refresh, I should see my learn.dgn, and it should be a PDF, uh, which is black and white, which proves that it did attach my settings file, which is correct. And I'll check it back in.